Welcome, I'm Jay Clifford, a developer advocate at Influx Data. And I'm Sam Dillard, I'm a product manager for all things Edge at Influx Data. So today we're going to discuss edge to cloud replication. So Sam, what exactly is edge to cloud replication? Yeah, so I'm gonna table replication for just a second. I wanna level set on terms. Um, going forward, what I mean by edge is anything that's at the periphery of your topology, which could be global, countrywide, countywide, you name it. And anything that's kind of close in proximity to where data sources are. So where data is born basically and, and emitted, the data, store, the data store is close. Here in cloud is like a central hub or um, visibility into your entire, your entire infrastructure, your whole fleet. So what I see in the field sometimes is that people will do only on-prem things or only edge or they'll do only cloud, but there is some value in kind of a duality between the two. The best way to illustrate that is with an example. So think of a car manufacturer, mm -hmm. right? I might have a facility here, here, like US, Japan, Germany, and I have engineers that are local to that site that are operating really expensive equipment, and they want visibility into the health of those pieces of equipment, so they have dashboards, they have alerts, and they want, generally, if it's expensive equipment, they want really detailed data, so mm -hmm. it has to be high precision, and they need their queries to be low latency. That can be expensive, but we can design for it because we know that these engineers don't need data from here or here. Um, where all of the data is needed is in the cloud, where you have your data scientists, your business analysts, other engineers, you name it, they're getting a holistic picture into the entire fleet. So what we need to be able to do is get data from the edge nodes into the cloud somehow. There's plenty of tools out there that do stuff like this, but what InfluxDB open source has introduced is a way for the node itself to replicate data automatically from where it is to the cloud. Nice. Yeah. So I think I get the concept of replication between InfluxDB Edge and Cloud, but how do I actually go about implementing it? Easy, so basically you just configure two things. Your local instance to your cloud connection. Mm -hmm. And then once you have your connection established, you configure one or more buckets to replicate. So the replication is happening at the bucket level, which is super important and we'll see why in a second. The way it works, once those are configured, we'll follow the path of a data point, for instance. So let's say a data point is written into this bucket, destined for this bucket. That bucket is configured to replicate to cloud. That data point will not only write there, but automatically be synced to this, to this cloud bucket. And the way it does that is by writing to a durable on-disk queue first, and then that queue will flush to the cloud when ready, but it happens very instantaneously. Okay, hold up. So if we go back to your original example, when we talk about the car manufacturers, I know for a fact that's a lot of data being produced by these factories. That means we're sending a lot of raw data to InfluxDB Cloud. How do we deal with this? That's very true. So um, companies that are dealing with a lot of data, especially high precision at the, at the edge, it's not necessarily necessary that they move that data in its entirety to the cloud. So what they can do instead of replicating this raw data, the original, the original bucket, is not configure replication here. Instead, have a downsampling task written in Flux, write it to another bucket that has just the aggregate data and have that synced to cloud. So what you have is less data in one bucket being synced to cloud and then this bucket here still serving the local engineers with their, their like low latency, high resolution needs, but it's totally invisible to cloud. That's cool, so that means I could perform like other transformations or even add metadata to those samples before they head? Yeah, absolutely. So you don't have to just downsample. You can enrich data, you can filter data, you can transform it however you want into this bucket and have that replicated. So maybe your engineers or your data scientists in cloud have totally different needs and they, they need to re-tag data in a certain way. Either they or you at the local site can enrich that data to their needs. All right then, so I'm gonna throw you a curveball question. So I know for a fact that the two function exists and the two function allows me to send my data from a local instance to a remote inf instance like InfluxDB Cloud. So what's the difference between what you're doing and what I'm doing? Perfectly reasonable question. People are historically using Flux2 to both write to local buckets, but also sometimes to remote ones. The thing that replication gets you is durability. So with the Flux2 function, if there's a network partition, say here, and 
this bucket can't write out, or the flux2 function can't write out to the cloud, it'll fail that write. But if there's a network partition and we're using the replication queue, that queue will just build up until that partition is restored, and then all that data will be flushed. So you get sort of this eventual consistency between the edge and the cloud. And then secondly, just want to point this out, um, if you're not downsampling and you are in fact writing raw data over the, to the cloud where you're not doing any processing on it, the flux2 function still has to process it by going and querying the data locally and then batch writing it out. Whereas with the replication feature, it's just dual writing. So as it arrives, it's synced. Got it. And so can I connect multiple edge buckets to one cloud bucket? Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So let me see if I can bullet point those. Um, so we're talking, it's automatic, it's highly durable, and you don't actually have to query the data, it just sends straight? Absolutely, yeah. Fantastic. Well, this has been an awesome feature and one I've been waiting a long time for. Thank you, Sam. So this has been Edge to Cloud Replication. Thank you for joining us, and we cannot wait to see what you're going to build. <laughs>